to lack feet. First depicted on a celestial globe by Petrus Plantius in 1598, it was charted on a star atlas by Johann Bayer in his 1603 Uranometria. The French explorer and astronomer Nicolas Louis de Lacaille charted and gave the brighter stars their Bayer designations in 1756. The five brightest stars are all reddish in hue. Shading the others at apparent magnitude 3. 8 is Alpha Apatus, an orange giant that has around 48 times the diameter and 928 times the luminosity of the Sun. Marginally fainter is Gamma Apatus, another aging giant star. Delta Apatus is a double star, the two components of which are 103 arc seconds apart and visible with the naked eye. Two star systems have been found to have planets. Detail of Johann Bayer's 1603 Uranometria, showing the constellations Apis, Chameleon, Musca, and Triangulum Austral, as well as the South Celestial Pole. Apis was one of twelve constellations published by Petrus Plantius from the observations of Peter Dirk Zoan Kaiser and Frederick de Houtman who had sailed on the first Dutch trading expedition, known as the Eerste Skipvaart, to the East Indies. It first appeared on a 35-centimeter diameter celestial globe published in 1598 in Amsterdam by Plantius with Jodocus Hondius. De Houtman included it in his Southern Star Catalog in 1603 under the Dutch name De Paradis Vogel, the Bird of Paradise, and Plantius called the constellation Paradis Vogel Apis Indica, the first word is Dutch for Bird of Paradise. Apis is assumed to have been a typographical error for Avis. After its introduction on Plantius's globe, the constellation's first known appearance in a celestial atlas was in German cartographer Johann Bayer's Uranometria of 1603. Bayer called it Apis Indica while fellow astronomers Johannes Kepler and his son-in-law Jacob Barch called it Apis or Apis Indica. The name Apis is derived from the Greek apus, meaning without feet. This referred to the Western misconception that the bird of paradise had no feet, which arose because the only specimens available in the West had their feet and wings removed. Such specimens began to arrive in Europe in 1522, when the survivors of Ferdinand Magellan's expedition brought them home. The constellation later lost some of its tail when Nicolas Louis de Lacaille used those stars to establish octans in the 1750s. Covering 206. 3 square degrees and hence 0. 5,002% of the sky, Apis ranks 67th of the 88 modern constellations by area. Its position in the southern celestial hemisphere means that the whole constellation is visible to observers south of 7 degrees north. It is bordered by Ara. Triangulum Austral and Circinus to the north, Musca and Chameleon to the west, Octans to the south, and Pavo to the east. The three-letter abbreviation for the constellation, as adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1922, is APS. The official constellation boundaries, as set by Belgian astronomer Eugène Delporte in 1930, are defined by a polygon of six segments. In the equatorial coordinate system, the right ascension coordinates of these borders lie between 13 hours 49. 5 meters and 18 hours 27. 3 meters, while the declination coordinates are between minus 67. 48 degrees and minus 83. 12 degrees. Lakai gave 12 stars Bayer designations, labeling them Alpha through to Kappa, including two stars next to each other as Delta and another two stars near each other as Kappa. Within the constellation's borders, there are 39 stars brighter than or equal to apparent magnitude 6. 5. Beta, Gamma and Delta Apatus form a narrow triangle, with Alpha Apatus lying to the east. The five brightest stars are all red-tinged, which is unusual among constellations. Alpha Apatus is an orange giant of spectral type Kyb located 430 plus or minus 20 light-years away from Earth, with an apparent magnitude of 3. 8. It spent much of its life as a blue-white main-sequence star before expanding, cooling and brightening as it used up its core hydrogen. It has swollen to 48 times the Sun's diameter, and shines with a luminosity approximately 928 times that of the Sun, with a surface temperature of 4,312 K. Beta Apatus is an orange giant 149 plus or minus 2 light-years away, with a magnitude of 4. 2. It is around 1. 84 times as massive as the Sun, with a surface temperature of 4,677 K Gamma Apatus is a yellow giant of spectral type G8 of located 150 plus or minus 4 light-years away, with a magnitude of 3. 87. 
It is approximately 63 times as luminous the Sun, with a surface temperature of 5,279 K Delta Apatis is a double star, the two components of which are 103 arc seconds apart and visible through binoculars. Delta 1 is a red giant star of spectral type M4 I've located 630 plus or minus 30 light years away. It is a semi-regular variable that varies from magnitude plus 4. 66 to plus 4. 87, with pulsations of multiple periods of 68. 0, 94. 9 and 101. 7 days. Delta 2 is an orange giant star of spectral type Kive, located 550 plus or minus 10 light years away, with a magnitude of 5. 3. The separate components can be resolved with the naked eye. The fifth brightest star is Zeta Apatis at magnitude 4. 8. A star that has swollen and cooled to become an orange giant of spectral type K1 I've, with a surface temperature of 4649 K and a luminosity 133 times that of the Sun. It is 300 plus or minus 4 light years distant. Near Zeta is Iota Apatis, a binary star system 1040 plus or minus 60 light years distant, that is composed of two blue white main sequence stars that orbit each other every 59. 32 years. Of spectral types B9 V and B9. 5 V, they are both over three times as massive as the Sun. Eta Apatis is a white main sequence star located 140. 8 plus or minus 0. 9 light years distant. Of apparent magnitude 4. 89, it is 1. 77 times as massive, 15. 5 times as luminous as the Sun and has 2. 13 times its radius. Age 250 plus or minus 200 million years old, this star is emitting an excess of 24 m infrared radiation, which may be caused by a debris disk of dust orbiting at a distance of more than 31 astronomical units from it. Theta Apatis is a cool red giant of spectral type M73 located 350 plus or minus 30 light years distant. It shines with a luminosity approximately 3,879 times that of the Sun and has a surface temperature of 3,151 K. A semi-regular variable, it varies by zero. 56 magnitudes with a period of 119 days, or approximately 4 months. It is losing mass at the rate of 1. 1 times 10 minus 7 times the mass of the Sun per year through its stellar wind. Dusty material ejected from this star is interacting with the surrounding interstellar medium, forming a bow shock as the star moves through the galaxy. No Apatis is a red giant of spectral type Maia that varies between magnitudes 5. 71 and 5. 95. Located 780 plus or minus 20 light years distant, it shines with a luminosity estimated at 2059 times that of the Sun and has a surface temperature of 3568 K. S. Apatis is a rare R. Coroni Borealis variable. An extremely hydrogen deficient supergiant thought to have arisen as the result of the merger of two white dwarfs, fewer than 100 have been discovered as of 2012. It has a baseline magnitude of 9. 7. R. Apatis is a star that was given a variable star designation, yet it has turned out not to be variable. Of magnitude 5. 3. It is another orange giant. Two star systems have had exoplanets discovered by Doppler spectroscopy, and the substellar companion of a third star system, the Sun-like star HD 131664, has since been found to be a brown dwarf with a calculated mass of the companion to 23 times that of Jupiter. HD 134606 is a yellow Sun-like star of spectral type G64 that has begun expanding and cooling off the main sequence. Three planets orbit it with periods of 12, 59, 5 and 459 days, successively larger as they are further away from the star. HD 137388 is another star, of spectral type K24, that is cooler than the Sun and has begun cooling off the main sequence. Around 47% as luminous and 88% as massive as the Sun, with 85% of its diameter, it is thought to be around 7. 4 plus or minus 3. 9 billion years old. It has a planet that is 79 times as massive as the Earth and orbits its Sun every 330 days at an average distance of 0. 89 astronomical units. 
Globular cluster IC4499 taken by Hubble Space Telescope. The Milky Way covers much of the constellations area. Of the deep sky objects in Apis, there are two prominent globular clusters, NGC 6101 and IC4499, and a large faint nebula that covers several degrees east of Beta and Gamma Apatis. NGC 6101 is a globular cluster of apparent magnitude 9. 2 located around 50,000 light-years distant from Earth, which is around 160 light-years across. Around 13 billion years old, it contains a high concentration of massive bright stars known as blue stragglers, thought to be the result of two stars merging. IC 4499 is a loose globular cluster in the medium-far galactic halo, its apparent magnitude is 10. 6. The galaxies in the constellation are faint. IC 4633 is a very faint spiral galaxy surrounded by a vast amount of Milky Way line of sight integrated flux nebulae, large faint clouds thought to be lit by large numbers of stars. Thanks for watching.